वेलकम एवरी वन टू दी क्यू एन ए सीरीज अ न्यू इनिशियटिव ऑफ ईस्ट कॉप ग्रुप वे द बर्निंग क्वेश्चन ऑन फायर एंड सेफ्टी आर एड्रेस्ड बाई मिस्टर हेमंत खड़से सो मिस्टर हेमंत देर इज अ क्वेश्चन रिसीव फ्रॉम मिस मीना अयर अ स्कूल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ऑन इवैक्शन मॉक ड्रिल एंड हर क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द प्रैक्टिकल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ मॉक ड्रिल वॉट एग्जैक्टली हैपन्स इन द इवैक्शन मॉक ड्रिल एंड वाई शुड मॉक ड्रिल्स बी परफॉर्म फ्रीकुंटली इन असेंबली एरियाज Thank you, Priyanka. I think it's a great question. Um, I thank you, the questioner who has uh, raised this burning topic, which is a very common question by most of the uh, occupants. So, if I summarize this question in three parts, first is what's the significance or a purpose of this mock drill? Second, what exactly happens in the mock drill when you uh, do such kind of a mock drills? And third. why these mock drills are done frequently so let me answer this in parts so that everyone can understand uh, the uh, three question that has been raised by the school administrator and it's not just a question which is pertaining to any specific occupancy any occupancy which is predominantly occupied by 50 plus people which is the uh, benchmark for an assembly occupancy this answer would be applicable to them so the first parameter let us understand why what's the purpose of mock drill there is a very clear purpose that we can be defined in two parts one to comply the local fire safety norms and second is to create the discipline of evacuation mock drills in the occupancy that has been used for either working or a, or a living so when you have a first objective as comply the fire safety norms or second one what we mention about creating a discipline in the occupancy there are three parameters involved or elements involved in this mock drill first is execution second is record and third is submission but when it comes to the comply norms which is predominantly done by most of the facility owners be it industry or or commercial the focus is given on submission and less on record and execution but when it comes to the creating a discipline when they have a very clear mission and objective of doing this evacuation mock drill for that particular occupancy then the focus is highly given on execution and for the rest of the part is given the secondary importance and why it is important that execution to be given as a high importance rather than a submission is that the evacuation mock drill is been intended to to know that people aware about the occupancy very well and at the same time they are able to save their life in case of any emergency it could be fire or non fire so let's be clear about the objective why are we doing this mock drill at your place and the significance is very very high the moment people are conversant with their evacuation practices by doing it recurringly by doing it frequently they are well versed with the with the facility at the same time they are more aware about the evacuation practices using the staircases going to the assembly areas not to use the elevators and stuff like that so my answer to you is that define your objectives and when you are clear about your objectives then focus on execution then rest will fall in place the second question is what exactly happens in mock drill and it's it's a it's a uh, important note or or understanding that people need to have and from a if emergency response team perspective those who are actually the people who are involved in coordinating and getting this mock drill done for their facility when they know that evacuation mock drill is to be performed they must be clear about the stages of evac uh, the mock drills that are that are uh, that are required and there are again three parts that can be done first is your pre mock drill preparedness which evacuation response team must be aware about what is that phase 1 or stage 1 preparedness of the mock drills what are the role and responsibility of the people involved who are actually the responsible for getting this mock drill coordinated for that 
facility it could be school office building or even resident building and that preparedness involves the defining the roles and responsibility of being a fire marshal being a being a first aider guy or being the uh, leader who is going to look at the time required for that evacuation process where is the assembly area to be nominated how people are going to be aided at every floors or every plant areas so that's something which is very very important and critical for ERT team to define their roles and responsibility make sure that it is all coordinated make sure that they are all communicated internally and that's how the mock drill is going to be more efficient and second part is basically the mock drill the real real part where the people are going to use the staircases or the nearby escape route by following the practices and they are reaching to the nearby assembly areas and that's how the moment where people are following the discipline following the practices following the safe and speedy practices where they are able to achieve that evacuation in a very very safe way in coordinated way so up to the assembly area when they are able to reach the head count is taken at the at the last by the ERT leaders and they are actually measuring what exactly went wrong and what went right and the third part which is very important is basically debrief where people are able to measure the uh, success factor or learning factor both for the evacuation mock drill so that they can improve upon the next time when they do it and that's how your record in the form of report in the form of uh, debrief report uh, is being generated within the ERT team and that is how it is the mock drill it's a full full uh, the way of doing the mock drill so that they can become a learning uh, curve and they can uh, create that discipline within the occupants of evacuation mock drill so these are the three parts which ERT team members have to be very very clearly uh, 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 followed and adhere to it and then lastly why these are to be done every six months or every one year now it's a requirement by the courts and practices but as I mentioned to you, when your objective is to create a discipline, the discipline cannot be an overnight, cannot be done in a one-way, uh, one-time session. So when when the occupants, whether it's uh, uh, children or uh, families or or uh, non-skilled people or anything, depending on the facility that you are in, when you are doing it frequently, you become more conversant. When you become uh, more conversant, you become more confident and you make no mistakes in those emergencies where actually brain doesn't work. So that says in quotes are encouraging all the facility owners, specifically 50 plus occupants. This has to be done at least once in six months so that it becomes a, a culture. It becomes their DNA to follow the safety during evacuation and we can actually save somebody's life or your own life by practicing this mock drill. So guys, this is very, very important uh, element. Do not ignore this. Make sure that you invest, make sure that you are engaged and participate in your mock drills. If you don't do it, start doing it and it is going to definitely make the change in our country. Thank you.